How's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Batteries San Diego. Today we're going to talk to you about connecting batteries and the do's and don'ts. Um, in this example, well I'll give you an example here. We had a customer that returned a battery that said it stopped working after about a month and we couldn't figure out what, why because the battery was brand new, it was in great shape when they got it. But we noticed there was a big depression on top of the battery and what we came to determine is that a customer in the attempt to put a, a uh, lug with cable and a lug over the the uh, auto post they were using a hammer and they were just beating it over the uh, post and it actually caused damage and here's what happens <clears throat> this this terminal post is actually connected to a strap the strap crosses all the plates here when you beat when you hammer that you're actually destroying the welds inside the battery and shorting out the battery this battery can only get to four volts and it was uh, tanked so here's what you do um, there's a very inexpensive tool it's a battery plier and what you do is you actually, if you've got one of these guys and the gap is really closed off, you back off the nut, you put the plier inside and you squeeze the plier and it actually spreads inside diameter of that. It's a real easy tool. This stuff is all lead so it's real soft and malleable. Then your, your uh, cable goes right back over nice and buttery like that and then you want to tighten it up really nice and tight. Let's say you're connecting some cable to your uh, battery. But here's the do's and don'ts. When you lay this uh, eyelet over the stud, you want to make sure that your uh, nut down here is nice and tight. You never want to see any kind of pivoting. And let's say that for some reason you've got a challenge with charging or you've got some tr uh, tr some troubleshooting, but your battery voltage is showing good. What you start then is you look at the cable. Take a look at the cable that's connecting the batteries. Pull on the cable. If sometimes when people make their own cable, they just do a swedge and they just kind of dimple the top of it. Well, that dimple will give loose. And if you ever take a, a, a cable and you can actually feel it shaking inside the lug, then you've got resistance and bad stuff going on in there. So replace the cable. So never you want you never want to have any kind of pivoting. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then as far as protecting your battery, this is an AGM battery, so you don't have to really protect it. It doesn't gas. But what you want to do is if you've got a flooded lead cell and you're in a marine environment, maybe take some dielectric or that red stuff and spray it on there. Even some Vaseline is a great uh, barrier for corrosion. I hope my tip helped. These battery pliers are available online. We sell them. It's a very great, it's a very inexpensive tool. And uh, please subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.